Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Allison and today I'm sharing a really fun Trader Joe's haul. Hold on one second. Today is a major running errands day for me and step one was a Starbucks. I got a hibiscus, no, not a hibiscus, a passion iced tea. My favorite like non-coffee drink from Starbucks. And I think I'm gonna be talkative in this video because I'm showing a bunch of Trader Joe's food and I am passionate about food and Trader Joe's. Normally most of my grocery shopping is done at Walmart. I like the grocery pickup. You just pull up, they put all your groceries in your trunk, you pull out. It saves a ton of time, it's a lot easier and Walmart's really cheap, but I've been missing Trader Joe's a bit so we've been going there the past couple weeks and I love it guys. I've also been very lazy about cooking so I love that Trader Joe's has a lot of um, easy meal items, not necessarily the healthiest. Bucky is smelling the bags right now. So maybe that's my cue to stop blabbering on and to just start showing you all the food. Bucky, you wanna say hi to the people? Hey, come here, come here, come here. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. The people wanna see you. Look at those ears, look at those ears. Okay, can you sit? I did get you some T-R-E-A-T-S. Oh, you know what that means? I need you to say. Okay, let's start dive straight in. I've got three Trader Joe's bags and a bag of peaches to start with. Last week I got a bag of nectarines thinking they were peaches and they were a little bit like drier, so I'm hoping those are a lot juicier. I've been very into fresh fruit lately, so that is definitely on my shopping list all year round. Um, getting straight into the bags though. First bag, we've got a Caesar salad kit. Christian loves some good Caesar salad. Some organic potato chip kettle style. These are so crispy and crunchy. I don't really care that they're organic, but these are my favorite potato chips from Trader Joe's, except I also love that like giant bag of ruffle chips that they sell. That's also a really good bag of chips, but this one's quite a bit smaller, so I feel like it's not as bad that I'm buying this. Some little sweet treats. These dark chocolate covered power berries taste like college to me. I would bring these into the library, me and my roommates would. Well, actually one roommate would bring in chocolate covered espresso beans and I would bring in these and they were our reward for staying at the library late and studying. And then Christian's favorite Trader Joe's treat are the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. And they thankfully sell a much smaller bag of them because the big tub that they normally sell, we go through in like a week. It's unhealthy, it's bad for us, and we don't need that much chocolate. So it's good that they have like a little $1 packets with like, I think there's like eight cups in here. Something like that. Okay, getting into some of the pre-made items. So this is beef and broccoli, mildly sweet and spicy. Like I said, I've been super lazy, so these kinds of things where there's a vegetable and a protein and it's all in one bag, I just put it on a skillet and let it cook. That's been my ideal dinner recently. There are times where I'm like more in depth in my cooking or more, more thoughtful and healthy and like cooking from scratch. And then there's seasons of life, like right now, where this is all I'm capable of managing. This is what I'm making for dinner tonight, probably. Okay, another frozen item that I loved in college and I haven't gotten in a while. These roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. My roommates used to like meal prep these and like just have like the big bucket of them throughout the week and add them to their breakfast hashes or to dinners. Super, super good. Uh, speaking of breakfasts, um, Christian asked me to get some sausage, like breakfast sausage, but I only found like the meatless sausage, like fake meat. And uh, to make up for the fact that there were no sausage patties for Christian, I grabbed him these little hash browns. They're like the McDonald's style hash browns. And I'm pretty sure you just like throw them in the oven for a little bit. Really good, not super healthy. Also on the unhealthy train, guys, I promise we normally eat healthy. I just was a uh, snacky when I went in there. I did get a sandwich at Starbucks but I guess it wasn't enough to like curb the like, you know, like the dangers of like grocery shopping while you're hungry. So uh, cinnamon rolls happened. I also got a bottle of fresh squeezed juice beverage, Trader Joe's Limeade. Last week I got grapefruit juice and it was so good, but I wanted it to be more sour. Like I love very sour things and very sour fruits. And I hate that with like the lemonades and the grapefruit juices, like they add sugar to sweeten it. Like I want as tart as possible. So hopefully this doesn't have too much sugar. It's the second ingredient. There is more sugar than lime juice in this. That's disappointing. Trader Joe's, come on. The ingredients are filtered water, granulated sugar, lime juice, and lemon juice. <sighs> when will I learn? I guess I could just make it myself. Okay, last thing in the first bag, some cereal. Super exciting. We're like diehard fans of um, Raisin Bunches of Oats, Honey Bunches of Oats. And the Trader Joe's like knockoff version of the Bunches of Oats is not that great. So I tried a different kind and this is Trader Joe's Organic Cereal Bran Flakes. Probably not gonna be much better. I think it just sold me on the fact that they had blueberries in it and I like to add blueberries to my cereal. Okay, bag number two, we are moving and grooving. Chicken fried rice, a freezer staple for us. Another easy, quick meal. I also like to do it with 
Things like beef and broccoli, you can add some of this fried, fried rice and it has a little bit more veggies in there and then it's also just like completing the meal a little bit more. It adds a carb to it. Another all-time favorite are potstickers. I will say these are really low in calories. So if you guys like are hearty eaters, like I could feed Christian this entire bag and he's probably still gonna want like a bowl of cereal or something else to eat after. So it may not be like a complete meal like this with fried rice would be a better option, but I really, really like these. Tons of sodium, but they're delicious. Okay, another new item that looked too good to not just grab. Right next to the potstickers, I found these bao buns and these are Philly cheesesteak bao buns. Philly cheesesteak in a fluffy bao bun with shredded beef, onion, and bell pepper. I am sold. They look delicious and yummy. Can you guys see that? These look good. These might be for lunch. Some fresh blueberries to go with my bran, my bran cereal, whatever that was called. Um, two tubs of vanilla Greek yogurt. Christian loves little fruit parfaits and they don't sell a big size. Like they have like a probably this height, like a big version of like the plain one and then the honey yogurt, but they don't sell the vanilla yogurt in the large size. So I have to buy two small ones. I'm also just surrounded by food. You can see it over here a little bit. And now on the couch behind me, it's just a growing pile of groceries. This is gonna be so much fun to put away later. Another really unhealthy, probably easy meal, cheese enchiladas. I picked these up because I was thinking, I don't want to cook one night this week. Like I can already tell into the future, I'm not going to want to cook and Christian's going to be hungry and he's not going to want to cook. And so he'll make these for himself. And then you can't be mad if you're eating a cheese enchilada. Okay, three more things. Starting with an old favorite of mine, the non-dairy oat frozen dessert in the strawberry flavor. I love fruity ice creams, but ice creams don't mesh well with my stomach. I'm lactose intolerant. So these oat-based ones are really, really good. They have like a coconut line and I prefer the coconut frozen desserts over the um, oat ones, but they only carry it in the chocolate flavor now. Like they used to have a strawberry one and it was like my favorite and it was like strawberry coconut deliciousness, but uh, this will do, I guess. And then a new item that I saw was a cocoa brew in boba, coconut non-dairy frozen dessert with tapioca pearls. And I love me some coffee. And boba's really good too. So this looked good too to try. Last item, super exciting, some pork loin chops. No idea what I'm planning to cook with these, but I do like Trader Joe's meat selection for not like your traditional like ground beef, ground turkey stuff. I like to buy that like more in bulk at like Costco or something, but like these kinds of cuts, like last week we grabbed lamb chops, this week pork chops. I like the looks of this kind of meat from Trader Joe's a lot better than like the Costco or like the Walmart meat selection. Last bag, let's do this. Bucky is interested again. Do you wanna come say hi to the people? Do you, do you see his ears? Can you see the ears, the puppy dog ears? Okay, those hash browns are for dad, not for you. Stop, stop, stop. I think he knows that there are dog treats in this bag for him. Okay. First thing, my favorite bread from Trader Joe's, their sourdough bread. It's delicious, it's the best sourdough. I <laughs> made a mistake and went to Trader Joe's one week, got the sourdough bread, ate it all that entire week. And we were going to Walmart for groceries the following week and I was like, oh, sourdough bread, it's gonna be delicious. Walmart sourdough bread is, is not this. You need to try this bread. Uh-oh, Bucky, it's your time to shine. He's giving me a sit. <laughs> So I'd never really buy the dog treats over there, but these looked pretty good and we're all out of Bucky's treats. We normally just buy a big pack of them from Costco, but we have salmon jerky dog treats. You guys need to see his face. So here we have some salmon jerky dog treats. Very interested. What do we think of those, Bucky? Yeah, I think you really like those. And then we also got some chicken breast strips dog treats. Which ones do we wanna try? Which ones are we more interested in, Bucky? You're gonna have to choose, okay? Okay. These are a big treat, so you have to get you have to earn this, okay? I want to see a shape. Can I have a touch? Can I have a place? Place? No, no, place. Lay down. Head down. Good boy. I think it's safe to say both of those are dog approved. It is already gone. He ate it in about three seconds. Grapefruit is one of my favorite snacks to do. I'm kind of weird. I like to peel the grapefruit the entire way and then like rip it open like a nectarine or not a nectarine, what's the word? Like a tangerine, like the little mini like mandarin oranges. I like to do that with grapefruit. So I got two of those. We are almost done guys, hang with me. I got some pasta, some vegetable radiatore. Radiatore, how would you say that if I was Italian? I have never seen these before and I definitely am a fan of toaster strudels, but I don't like the fruit flavors, but Christian loves toaster strudels and I don't think he minds after the fruit flavors. So these are organic frosted toasted pastries in the strawberry flavor. So I'm pretty sure these will be a hit with my husband. And then also a request of his, 
were specifically these bars. I think they're called Nutrigrain bars, like the name brand version, but these are just like Trader Joe's brand. So they're strawberry and blueberry flavors. I got another carton of blueberries. We go through these like nobody's business. Some fresh cherries. That's how you really know it's summer. Like watermelon and cherries coming out tells me that it's summertime. So I'm ready to eat some of these cherries. Like I said, fruit is like our go-to snack in this house. And then another longtime favorite of mine is Trader Joe's Wine Country Chicken Salad. Really good, really mayonnaise-y, but that's how I like the chicken salad. It's really delicious. And it has um, cranberries and poppy seeds. It's really fresh and summery too. And I love to have this with like crackers or little buns. Sorry if you can hear Bucky drinking water. We'll wait for him to finish. Are you all done? And that is everything I bought from Trader Joe's. My total for this grocery run is... 107.26 including like 30 or 40 cents for bags because I forgot to get my uh, little to-go bags and honestly the Trader Joe's bags are so nice I don't have a problem like taking these home with me because I kind of enjoy having these on hand so let me know down in the comments what's your favorite item from Trader Joe's or your go-to like on every single grocery trip that you take there you have to pick up I think Christian's would have to be peanut butter cups and I don't know what mine would be sourdough bread maybe yeah, I'm gonna stick with sourdough bread. That'd be like my go-to every single Trader Joe's run. I have to grab that. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite Trader Joe's item is and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.